This video is from the course Introduction. It's designed for complete beginners and assumes you have no knowledge of the subject matter. If you are interested in more beginner, intermediate or advanced content, check out our website submeta.io. So we're going to look at a solo drill for the bridge. It's a great movement that you can use to warm up. Um, you can do it on your own. Um, it's a common movement that you're going to see in a lot of escapes. And in this particular, um, this particular movement, we use to escape the mount. So let's have a look at it. So we're going to start out on our back. And what we want to do, firstly, is we want to take our arms nice and close in. We want to practice not allowing our arms to be separated from our body. When our arms get separated, they're vulnerable to attack. So we want to keep them in nice and tight. For the bridge, we want to bring our, our feet close to our butt here because if we have our feet out kind of further away, when we bridge, we don't generate as much power. We want to bring them nice and close. So when we bridge, we, have a, we, we move our hips quite far away from the mat. So let's look, at the, uh, let's look at the movement for the drill now. So we'll break this down into two parts here. Have my, my arms close to my body, my feet tight in. I'm going to start to move towards one shoulder here, this near shoulder facing the camera. And I'm going to bridge up into the side here. Okay? I don't, I don't just want to bridge up because this can kind of be useful sometimes for getting the hands to the mat. But when we're, when we're doing the escape version of this drill, we're going to bridge up into the side onto our shoulder. That's part one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my foot across and complete that motion and come on top. So I'm going to start on my back, elbows in, feet close to the butt. I'm going to move, I'm going to roll onto my side, onto my shoulder, and I'm going to bridge up onto my shoulder and move my foot across and come up on top. So some common mistakes in this position, like we've already kind of pointed out, we want to have our feet nice and close to our butt so that when we, when we bridge, we're going to get a nice big movement here and not have them further out. This becomes quite weak and it also makes it very difficult for me to get up onto my shoulder here. I kind of turn onto my side a little bit more than I do get up onto my shoulder. The second thing that we see quite commonly is kind of like one direction for the bridge. So either people just kind of bridge up here or they just bridge out to the side. And what we, kind of, we, we need to combine both of those movements. So it's very important that when we bridge, we not only move to the side, but we move up into the side here. Another common mistake that we see is it's kind of unnatural for people to uh, roll onto the shoulder and kind of turn their head to the side here. So they, they end up kind of getting jammed up in this position here by their neck. I need to turn and I want to try to roll up onto the shoulder so I avoid kind of planting my face into the mat and making that movement really uncomfortable. So I turn and roll, and roll up onto my shoulder here. That means also that I have space to turn over and bring my leg through and that should help you out with the bridging movement. I hope you enjoyed this video from the course Introduction on submeta.io. If you go to submeta.io, you can watch this course for free uninterrupted with exercises to help you with recall. Also for free, we have the follow-up course to this, Foundations 1 Escapes, which builds on the content you'll be learning in this course.